Yeah, Matt, what, what, how, did it, how did it feel at the plate today? Four hits and, and obviously the big home run. Uh, I mean, obviously felt pretty good. Um, just trying to, trying to get in the groove, you know. I mean, baseball is one of those games where you'll do anything to stay in a rhythm. And uh, wouldn't necessarily say I've been in a great rhythm, but at the same time, haven't been, wouldn't say I've been struggling either. Just kind of, kind of in a lull. But uh, hopefully uh, today kick started, kick started, uh, you know, a streak and maybe we'll keep it going this weekend. And what were you looking for on, on the home run? And, and I couldn't tell. I lost it. Did, it. did it clear the building over there, laying on top of it? Could you tell? <laughs> uh, that one was one of those rare scenarios where I was kind of looking for something soft and got heater and, and hit it well. Um, usually, I feel like it's kind of the other way around. But uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm not real sure where it landed. <laughs> I was uh, running the bases. And I, I mean, I knew it was gone off the bat, but I didn't know how far. Nate? Was it kind of a morale boost finally to, to get to play from first base, and how do you feel it went? I feel like it went pretty good, you know. Uh, didn't, uh, didn't have a whole lot to – a lot that really tested me, but at the same time, I, uh, I mean, I felt comfortable over there. I've been working over there for a while now, and uh, just uh, happy to be back. Thanks. Randy, anything? How important is it right now for Caden to be swinging the bat the way that he is? Does that kind of give you uh, an extra sense of confidence that you can maybe do some things a little bit differently at the plate the way that Caden is swinging the bat? You know, uh, he's been swinging it really, really well. And uh, we kind of knew that he would um, come in, uh, uh, hear good things about him, and then he shows up and uh, – puts his head down, works really hard, very mature freshman. And, uh, you know, he's, he's as much of a leader as anyone as a freshman. And uh, he's fun to be around. And it's not just, it's not just the hitting that, that uh, sets the tempo for, for guys. It's, it's him as a person, him as a player. It's, uh, it's fun to be around. But, yes, to answer your question, he's, been, he's, uh, he's good for the lineup, not just me. Yeah. A lot of times I think they'll, they'll make sure they want to pitch to you uh, trying to uh, make sure that uh, maybe Caden can't do extra damage. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's why he's there. Um, and you can say the same thing on down the lineup, you know, I mean, we got a lot of guys that there's not many guys that you want to pitch to in our lineup, to be completely honest, you know, anybody can, anybody's a threat at any given time. You know, you saw today with when we have 14, 14 something hits well over 20 on the weekend and uh or on the week and then we'll have we'll keep it going you know it doesn't matter it doesn't matter who the pitching staff is I feel like we can compete against anybody thank you Matt you have anything else yeah this is kind of a, a full circle weekend as Tom was saying earlier that he, things were getting you know we're getting ready to go to Mississippi State when everything shut down last year uh have you thought about that at all I mean is it kind of you know you excited to get down to Mississippi State after everything that happened last year? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's not just Mississippi State. We're happy to be – we're happy to be playing ball, period. You know, that was – we were kind of in shock last year whenever everything went down, and uh, we were pretty amped up to go to Mississippi State, as we are now. And, uh, you know, uh, not many of us have been to Starkville. We hear that it's uh, – <laughs> we hear that's a good time, and we're ready to get down there and compete. All right. That's your time, Matt.